Hello everyone, my name is Michael Hart. I'm a priest in the Ecumenical Order of Christ. Today I want to talk to you about adultery and what that truly means for your spiritual well-being. You know, in the mainstream church they teach you that adultery is sex outside of marriage, but it's not. <laughs> if you look in the dictionary, it says taking something pure and essentially making it unpure, watering it down. It's like taking, uh, you know, olive oil and putting corn oil in it. <laughs> it's just, it doesn't, it's not olive oil anymore. You know, it's mixed. That's what adultery uh, truly means. In Deuteronomy, we read that nobody born of a forbidden marriage can enter into the kingdom of God or into the assembly of God. Well, there's reasons for that. It has to do with the do not adulterate commandment. So, if we look today at society, we notice that mostly homogenous societies, such as people that are all one uh, ethnic background, such as all Africans or all whites or all Chinese or whatever, have you, you notice that mainly there's not a lot of crime rate in those societies. There's not a lot of stealing or violence or murder. But if you look at the societies we have today on earth that are mixed, you know, you have every mishmash of ethnic origins available, you see that their, their crime rate is skyrocketing. You know, they have the most murder, the most theft, the most violence. Everything that is bad is in those types of societies. Well, in heaven, they have homogenous societies too. They have planets that are all one seed line, as the Lord puts it. Well, there's a reason for that. It's because those societies, they don't have a lot of crime rate. They don't have... The murder, the violence, the hatred, the bigotry, the racism, they don't have any of that. And they don't have a desire to experience what we experience here on earth. It's called being genetically responsible. Because if you create a, a human that is of a mixed seed line, they, well they don't have a place in heaven. Because they're obviously different. Now if you follow along on our teachings we tell you that we tell you that all love is permitted and no shame is accepted. That means you can go ahead and love somebody anybody you want to. If you are African and you love a white person or Chinese or whatever have you, you can do that. Just don't be genetically irresponsible and create a child that it will suffer not only in this life but in the afterlife as well because they don't have a place to go they are obviously different they know it and everybody around around them knows it it's obvious and you can't you can't ignore that fact but you can love whoever you want. And love them with all of your might. Just as we are commanded to love God with all of our heart, mind, and soul. You can love that person. Just be genetically responsible. So I enjoyed giving you this sermon today. I hope you took away something from it because I really enjoyed giving it to you. Uh, thank you all for joining me. And remember to love God. And love each other in Lord Ryle's name. Amen. I'll see you next time. Those within the Ecumenical Order of Christ are pleased and honored to provide everyone with the whole truth behind history, religion, and end time prophecies. Through our teachings and testimonies, each clergy member is dedicated to seeking out all matters and presenting the unadulterated evidences clearly with the divine guidance of the returned Christ, Lord Ra'el. We strive to be a light in this dark world, and you can too by helping spread these messages. Many of us have given up our comfortable lives in today's society, and we now live through the kindness and generosity of others in order to pursue the higher path of knowledge. 
If you wish to continue learning more truths and would like to help us continue our mission, you can do so by sending even a small donation to sanctuaryinterfaithisrael at gmail.com on PayPal. Check us out online at sanctuaryinterfaith.org, lordrayel.org, and armageddonbroadcastnetwork.tv. Don't forget to join us online at the International Congregation of Lord Rael on both Facebook and VK. Please be sure to check out all of the links in the description field. Remember to love God and each other. Thank you and God bless.